everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I'm feeling a little bit better. That's good. Thank you. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at day two of how to care for a broken heart, and the vocabulary words are account. Account. Let me log into my email account. Expand. Expand. The company is expanding its line of products.、Mm. Advice. Advice. My advice to you is to think carefully before making a decision. Good advice.、Mm -hmm. Thank you. Relieve. Relieve. Take this medicine. Ah. <gasps> It'll relieve your throat pain. Thank you. How did you know? I can just see.、Yeah. Patience. Patience. This could take a while, so please have patience. Are we talking to them? Yes. <laughs> yes. Learning English takes a while, so please be patient. And also, healing a broken heart、Ooh. takes a while, so also have patience for that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, heartbreak does take a while to heal. But how do you heal a broken heart?、Mm. I mean, we talked about the different stages you go、yeah. through. But what can you do to help yourself? One thing that's difficult for boys to、mm. do is、okay. cry. <gasps> Because a lot of people say boys don't cry,、yeah. they shouldn't cry. They shouldn't cry, but I mean you do have to let it out.、And、exactly. I, I know I haven't cried that much in my life,、mm -hmm. especially because of emotions. But every time I do, I feel so much better. Exactly. And I wish I could cry more. So I, I really do. If I'm feeling sad, I try to let it out. It helps. And it's really healthy too. If、yeah. you bottle up all your emotion inside、yeah. of you, one day it's gonna explode. <sighs> And、yeah. it's going to become something. It's a vicious cycle,、yeah. right? And you you need to talk to people. Yes. Yeah. Don't just try to handle so, something so big、mm -hmm. by yourself. When you're feeling depressed, your feelings you want to just be left alone. Exactly. You want no one to talk to you, but that's the wrong instinct. Actually, you really need to talk to people and tell people how you're feeling. Because maybe talk to a professional. It's really yeah, important you who you talk to. But, professional counselor. Right. Or yeah, teacher or parents. Friends. Yeah, but I think really anybody. You need to reach out. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, though there you go. I think you know. Hope you guys can heal your broken heart. Just、too. remember, everyone goes through heartbreak. You're not alone. And most likely, if you talk to somebody, they have already been through it, and they can. They can understand, and you can grow、yes. after the heartbreak.、Sure. Okay. okay, we'll see you again. All right, enjoy. Enjoy. How to care for a broken heart? If you're heartbroken, don't bottle up your feelings. This is especially important to remember for the guys who may have trouble expressing emotions. Find a friend, a family member, a trusted teacher, or a school counselor, and talk about it. This will help you feel better faster. Cry as much as you need to, whether you're a guy or a girl. And remember that no matter how bad you feel, there's never a need to hurt yourself or to get violent toward your ex. Again, if you're having troubling thoughts, talk to someone. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called How to Care for a Broken Heart, Day Two. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. Now, on day one, yes, we learned about emotions and how、yeah. people get heartbroken. We really didn't start to talk about though how to deal with a broken heart. Well,、mm. don't worry, folks. Today we're going to get to the heart of the matter. No pun intended. Oh,、uh, oh, I, I like that.、Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that,、uh, that was pretty good. The first sentence gives us one of the best bits of advice. It says, "If you're heartbroken, don't bottle up your feelings." We talk about bottling up your feelings or your emotions, keeping them inside, not talking about them, trying to ignore them. Don't do that. Don't bottle up your feelings. If you're heartbroken, let them out. Talk about them, or you know, if you're creative. Paint about them, or sing about them, or something. But but let them out. Get them out there. There you go. Don't bottle、no. up your feelings. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just Are you go, really just, heartbroken? Just, just go on.、Really、good actor. Just go on. I'm fine. Apparently, Mike has no problem expressing his emotions, even though it's okay. It's okay. You don't need to cry. He's really letting it out there. Anyways. This is especially important to remember for the guys. Yes,、mm. don't bottle up your feelings, guys. And、mm. why is this, why is this only the case for guys? Well, guys apparently they may have trouble expressing their emotions. Yes, the whole sentence says this is especially important to remember for the guys who may have trouble expressing 
emotion. So yes, don't bottle things up. Find a friend, a family member, a trusted teacher, or a school counselor, and talk about it. That's right. It's okay to cry. In some cultures, guys are not supposed to cry. Right? Kids cry, babies cry, men don't cry. But you know, if you're really sad, it's okay. And yes, find someone you trust. Find someone you feel comfortable. Someone who cares about you to talk about it with. Because often, when you talk about it, it it makes things better. Even if you don't find any answers, just letting it out and having a sympathetic person listen to you that can often make you feel a whole lot better. As it says, this will help you feel better. Faster, and that's what we all want to do when we have a broken heart. Cry as much as you need to, whether you're a guy or a girl. Weep like a baby. Absolutely, I said, get a big box of tissue paper, and remember that no matter how bad you feel, there's never a need to hurt yourself or to get violent toward your ex. Yeah, no, yeah, that. Don't. Don't do that. That Don't will not that. help. Hurting yourself will not help. Even you know, doing bad things to yourself, eating too much chocolate, or you know, that kind of thing, that won't help. And certainly, being violent in any way towards yourself, towards your ex, calling them on the phone angrily at four in the morning. <laughs> Don't do that kind of stuff. That will not help you, or then nothing will get better. Yes, and again. Talk, everyone.、Yeah. Don't bottle、no. things up again. If you're having troubling thoughts or scary thoughts or anything like that, talk, talk to someone.、Mm -hmm. All right, folks, we're running low on time, so it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll have more for you right after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny. 心碎是一个很痛苦、很难熬、很漫长的过程。当你非常伤心的时候，千万不要压抑自己的情绪，特别是不善于表达情绪的男人，要好好记住这一点。当你的情绪没有出口可以发泄的时候，闷久了就会闷出病来。课文建议我们可以找家人、朋友、信任的老师，或者是学校的辅导老师谈一谈。如果想哭就尽量哭，而且重要一点是，无论你心情有多差，感觉有多糟，你绝对绝对没有必要去伤害自己或去伤害你的前任。当你心烦意乱的时候，就找一个你信任的、有同情心的人去谈一谈。Mike 老师刚刚用到 sympathetic， sympathetic 这个形容词，它是形容有同情心的。好，那么文中的补充单字 x e x 这个 x 它是指前男友啊、前女友啊、前夫、前妻等等。那么 counselor counselor 这个单字当名词表示辅导老师或者是提供咨询的顾问。至于文中的片语 bottle up。Bottle up， 这是指压抑或者是抑制，通常是指压抑情绪。这句话课文中。How to care for a broken heart? Be sure to take good care of yourself. Make a point of eating healthy, exercising daily, and getting plenty of rest. Stay away from your ex's social media accounts. Stay busy, keep doing the things you enjoy, and try expanding your hobbies to help to keep you looking forward. This advice may come across as a little cliche, but it really does help to relieve stress and improve self-esteem. Everyone, if you have a broken heart, there's something that you need to remember. Don't bottle things up. You always have to talk about your feelings and let those feelings out if you're ever going to feel better. So if you take one thing away from today's lesson, it's、mm -hmm. that you've got to talk through this stuff. Find a good shoulder to cry on and let it. Out.、That's、Don't、right. be afraid to cry either. Exactly, and that you know, talking about it, that is a main point in our next sentence. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Talking about your feelings, surrounding yourself with friends, these are good things for you. But also, take care of yourself physically. That's another excellent point. Make a point of eating healthy, exercising daily, and getting plenty of rest. Crawling into a giant box of chocolates and drinking enough Coca-Cola to sink a ship—that might make you feel better in the moment, but the next day you'll feel terrible. It won't be the solution to your problem. So take care of yourself. Exercise, eat well, try to sleep as much as you can. And here's another really good point in this modern world. Stay away from your ex's social media accounts. In no fact, Facebook stalking. Stay away from social media entirely.、Yeah. So do what you would normally do, but if you're heartbroken, stay away from Facebook or anything like and, that. And, and, Especially the accounts that have to do with your 
ex, the person that you used to love, or the person who used to love you and who broke your heart. Yeah, maybe also stay away from romantic pop songs for a while. Yeah, no romantic pop annoying. songs or movies or novels or anything like that. Anyways, though, before we move mm. on, let's talk about the word account. It's a noun here, and account is a record. Uh, is a record or some information that you give to something like a company in order to use its products or services. Now, earlier I talked about Facebook. When you sign up to use Facebook, you have to give them your email address and some personal information to set up an account.、Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, once you've set up your account, you can use Facebook. Anyways, for example, let me log into my email account. Yeah, we have accounts for websites that we might use, an email account, also bank Banks, accounts. Yeah, right. It'll be a personal file, a personal listing, just for you, so that you can do business with that company or service more easily. Here's some other good advice: stay busy. Don't just sit at home looking at old pictures of your loved one, your your lost love. Stay busy. Keep doing the things you enjoy. Good advice, and try expanding your hobbies to help keep you looking forward. Absolutely, expand your hobbies. Make this kind of talks about make your social life a little bit bigger. If you're interested in something and you never did it, well, sign up for some classes, join a sports team, join a club, something like that. You'll make new friends. You'll be busy. You'll have time doing other things to get your mind off your broken heart. All of that is much healthier than sitting around and just thinking about the past. To expand basically is to get bigger. All right, so you're you're getting something, you're making something bigger. Something is growing. When we talk about expanding our social life or our social circle, we're making new friends. We're meeting new people. The number of people we know is is growing. It's expanding. For example, the company is expanding its line of products. They won't just offer four kinds of shoes. Now they'll offer fifteen. The company is. Going to start making more stuff. Yep, some more and new stuff. They're growing, baby. They're growing, baby.、Mm -hmm. Anyways, the next sentence says this、mm. advice may come across as a little cliche. We've heard it before, but it really does help to relieve stress and improve self-esteem. Anyways, before we move on, we've got two more vocabulary words to talk about. The first of these is the noun advice. Advice is guidance or a recommendation on what to do in some situation or how to act in the future. For example, my advice to you is to think carefully before making a decision,、hmm. which is also kind of a cliche, but、that's, also it's a good piece of advice. That's what you、advice. should do. That's right. Even if the the advice is a cliche, if we've heard it a million times before, doesn't mean it's not true and still good advice. And all of these things hopefully will relieve your problem. To relieve is this verb basically means to take away a problem, to make a problem lessen or go away completely. We often take medicine to relieve our pain. If you take a nap, it will relieve your feeling. Feelings of being tired, or if you eat a snack, it will relieve your hunger. It will take your hunger away. For example, take this medicine; it'll relieve your throat pain. Hopefully, in a few hours or a day, you'll you'll feel better. Your pain will go away. You'll feel relieved. You won't have a sore throat、nope. anymore. It's all gone. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back with more after this. 除了找人谈一谈，你想要哭就哭，让情绪有出口之外，一定要记得好好照顾自己，要吃得健康，每天运动，还要充分休息，记得要远离你前任的社群媒体账号。刚刚 Mike 老师说 ，No Facebook stalking， 意思是你不要在脸书上面一直偷偷查人家的动态。Stalk 这个动词，它具有鬼鬼祟祟的跟踪或者是偷偷接近的意思。好，课文提到说，你该做的是保持忙碌。去做你喜欢的事，然后试着拓展嗜好来帮助自己向前看。虽然这个建议听起来好像很老掉牙，但它确实可以帮助你纾解压力，提升自尊心。这边有四个单字 ：account、account。在文中，它是指向电子邮件啊，或者社群媒体等等的账号、账户。不过，其实银行的账户也可以用这个字表达。那么 ，expand、expand， 它是动词，表示扩大、扩展。再来看 advice， advice 这个字表示劝告。那 Jeff 老师在解释单字时，他提到 guidance， guidance 这个字可以指指导或是引导。老师还有提到 recommendation， recommendation 这个字除了指推荐，也可以指劝告或是建议。好，再来看 relieve， relieve 
。这个动词它表示缓解或是减轻，意思就跟 lessen 差不多。lessen 是拼作 l e s s e n。好，至于补充单字 cliche。Cliche， 它可以当名词或形容词。当名词就表示老生常谈、陈腔滥调的。那么当形容词就是形容老生常谈的、啊、老掉牙的、啊、陈腔滥调的。再来看 self-esteem，self-esteem， self-esteem, 这表示自尊。这句话课文中。How to care for a broken heart? Above all, have patience and give yourself time. In the end, you'll have learned from the experience and taken another big step in the process of growing up. And whether you realize it or not, that's something you can be proud of. Mike,、mm. this is taking way, way too long. What do you mean? I've got places to go. I've got people to see. Come on. And we're. Come on. Everyone, just get over with no. it. Okay, get get over your broken heart and hurry up, That's please. That's exactly、Gosh. what you don't want to say. You want to give people time to grieve, time to get over the sadness that they're feeling and the loss of the relationship and the dying of their dreams like of their future. Time is money. No, my, no, no, no. Time no. is money. As it says, above all, have patience and give yourself time, or in your case, have patience and give other people. Time. Let them go through the natural process of loss and grieving and all the complicated emotions that they have. You need to have patience. Right, Stop、right. looking at your watch. I will give、That's、you exactly what you shouldn't be I doing. I will give you ten seconds to get over the broken heart. Walk it off if you need to. Ten Mis- seconds. Mr. Softy here. <laughs> Mr. Softy. I'm joking, everyone, but I'm illustrating what a person with no patience. Would act like this is how people who are impatient act. Yeah, hurry up! Come on, what are you doing? Come on, time is money. Everyone, you should have patience with other people, especially people with broken hearts. Anyways, more on patience. The word patience is a noun, and patience, very simply, is the ability to stay calm even when you're aggravated or annoyed or when time is important. For example. This could take a while, so please have patience. Don't be impatient. Right, and if you are, if you have patience, you would be patient, <laughs> which is yeah, very the same spelling as someone who goes to a doctor. Patient. And anyways, let's get back to the article. It says, in the end, after all of this has happened and time has passed, in the end, you'll have learned from the experience and taken another big step. In the process of growing up, absolutely, everyone gets their heart broken. It's something that we get gather wisdom and experience and and life skills from. And whether you realize it or not, that's something you can be proud of. Yeah, if you go through having your heart ripped out and thrown in the garbage can and kicked around, and you come out of that with a still a positive attitude, looking for a new, better relationship, well. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've gone through a difficult experience. You've come out the other side. You're better and stronger. So definitely be proud of yourself. Anyways, folks, our lesson is now complete. It's in the books. It's kaput. But Mike and I were not through.、Mm. You see, we still have to ask and then answer the what do you think question. Mike,、mm. what do you think is the most important piece of advice in this article? Well, I think the advice about talking is most important because a lot of people bottle up their emotions and they don't want to bother other people or they feel embarrassed or you know humiliated that they were dumped or whatever like that. But everyone goes through it, so talk about it. Find a sympathetic ear, a friendly. Shoulder to cry on, because yeah, even if you don't come up with any solutions or answers or nothing magically gets better, you will feel better after you let it out. Yeah, I think that's good advice. All right, folks, with that, our lesson has come to an end, and this time I mean it. Bye bye. Take care of yourself. 心碎需要时间慢慢好起来，要记得有耐心，给自己时间。有的人可能只需要几个月，有的人需要好几年。你不要给自己太大压力，终究会好起来的。而且你会从这个经验当中有所收获，也会更了解自己，也会变得更好。最后来看单字 patience。Patience 这个名词，它表示耐心或是忍耐力。那它的形容词是 patient。Patient 表示有耐心的，能忍受的。好 ，patient 它也可以当名词，是指病人。那我们现在如果把它当形容词来看，在前面加上否定的字首 I am 变成 impatient。
impatient， 那就是形容没耐心的、不耐烦的或是无法忍受的。张老师刚刚解释单字时，他有提到 aggravated。Aggravated， 还有提到 annoyed，annoyed annoyed, 这两个字都可以用来描述恼怒的。那这个动词 aggravate，aggravate， aggravate, 它有激怒的意思。好，顺便补充一下 ，Mike 老师说啊，有一些人可能会觉得自己被甩很丢脸，不敢跟别人讲。可是其实找人谈一谈是非常重要的。老师有用到 humiliate，humiliate，humiliate humiliate, humiliate 这个动词，它表示羞辱。好了，那以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个片语。第一个是 bottle up， 第二个是 make a point of 加上动词 ing， 第三个是 come across as， 第四个是 above all。首先。我们来学习片语动词 bottle up， 表示压抑或是抑制，像是压抑情绪之类的。其中的 bottle 在这边是当动词，那原本是指把什么装入瓶内，引申的意思是抑制。bottle up 可以用来表达压抑或是隐藏，像是隐藏强烈的情感或是怒气等等。例如 ，Are you okay? I'm here if you need someone to talk to. Don't bottle up your emotions. 你还好吗？如果有需要谈一谈，可以找我。千万不要压抑你的情绪。接下来，我们来学习片语 make a point of 加上动词 ing， 这表示重视而确保什么什么。这个片语也可以改写作 make it a point to do something， 表示非常重视什么，务必要做某事。例如 ，She makes a point of exercising three times a week. 也可以说成 She makes it a point to exercise three times a week. 她确保自己每周至少要运动三次。接下来，我们来学习 come across as 表示给人什么样的印象。Come across 在这边做不及物用，表达表现出什么样的样子。给人什么样的印象？后面可以接 as 加上名词或形容词，也就是指给人什么印象或感觉。例如 ，Frank came across as a nice guy. Frank 给人印象是他是个好人。再看个例句 ，Her response came across as harsh. 她的回应给人尖酸刻薄的感觉。最后。我们来学习 above all 表示最重要的事，或者是尤其。above all 可以摆在句首或是句中，那必须用逗号跟主要子句隔开。相同意思的用法还有 most of all 或者是 most importantly。例如 ，Ted is smart, hardworking, and above all honest. Ted 又聪明又努力，最重要的是他为人诚实。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽 ，See you next time， bye。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是 Jay。受邀参加研讨会的时候，有很多相关的事情，嗯、学术用语要好好来认识一下啊。对，比如说，同样学术研讨会哈，嗯 ，conference。跟 seminar 其实有点不一样 ，conference 是大规模的那种正式研讨会、嗯嗯，那会有这个完整的会议的议程，嗯，就是什么 agenda， agenda， no, 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 agenda，、嗯、agenda， 很多人都念 agenda， no no no， agenda， agenda，、嗯、还有这个开闭幕的仪式，哇、哦，那很正式哎、嗯，开幕仪式就是 opening， opening ceremony。Opening ceremony. 那结束的时候就是 closing ceremony. 对对对,对,对,对,对,对,对,对 ，closing ceremony. 对，对那。Seminar 的话，它也一样是学术研讨会，但是它是比较规模比较小一点的专题探讨。Oh. 哦，那这个讲者跟与会的这个贵宾都会有比较多的这个交流的机会。也就是说，它没有什么 opening 跟 closing 的，对对,对不对？那有有可能就是大型的 conference，、oh. 然后里面会有很多小型的 seminar。哦，那有道理哦，对,对,对,对,对不对？那除了会议本身的性质跟规模的话，你知道那个
讲者的称谓跟地位，这个也很重要，大家要知道。啊、对，那我们刚刚讲到就是 conference， conference 是大型的对对，那里面会有分小型的场次。嗯，这个场次的话叫 session， session，、哦、session 其实就是一段时间。嗯、哦，那除了这个当小场次之外，也可以是比如说一个一一堂瑜伽的课程，就是一个 yoga session、嗯。OK， 好，那这边在这种 session 发表论文或者是海报的这种讲者呢，叫做 presenter。Presenter 对，好，那如果对，如果是 Keynote Speaker， 嗯 ，Keynote Keynote 就是最重要的哈，就是主题，好、嗯，所以 Keynote Speaker 就是主题的演讲者，哦，好，他是做这个 Keynote Speech 的这个人 ，Keynote Speaker 啊，对 ，Keynote Speech，, Kino speech 對、哦、那 Keynote 就是全场的，全部就是三四百个人大家一起参加那一种，哦，对，那可能就是结束之后，他就会分小场的，哦、小场的话就是 Plenary。Plenary、嗯、plenary session， 好、哦，就是 plenary session 小型的啊、哦哦。那 plenary speaker 就是小型的这样。哦、oh, okay. ，plenary speaker， 对对,对。哇，好复杂、哦呃，小复杂、哦，好复杂、哦。Okay. 那因为可是大型研讨会不是还有那个茶会，我们都期待茶会啊。对，很复杂，就不要理它。对，但是茶会很重要。那叫做 coffee break， coffee break， 或者是 tea break， tea break， break 就是休息时间这样，嗯、对。大家可以享这个享用点心，然后互相交换资讯， yeah, 对不对？然后晚上的时候呢，如果是正式的 conference，、嗯、很多时候会有 banquet。哦，这是什么？嗯、会呃，这个宴会。哦，晚宴。嗯，晚宴这样。哦。那有的就是比如说有三天的会议，对。那、啊、第四天要干嘛？自、哦、自肥。好，所以就要安排 field trip、哦。field trip。嗯，就是。旅游哦，我知道很多医生他会去国外开会，有没有？然后好几天，可能第三天、第四天就是一个 field trip。对对对，哇塞，开会两天 field trip 五天这样。这么好啊！<笑>对对对那我还可以说，我某个会议在七月举,举行，我等不及了，兴奋。那你就说某个会议 is coming up in July， I can't wait。哦，什么什么 is coming up in July， I can't wait。嗯，干嘛？为什么等不及了？因为我很期待主题演讲啊。I'm looking forward to the keynote speech. I'm looking forward to the keynote speech. 阿弟喜得期待下面回。讲真好帅，好帅。OK， 那你就说。Uh, the presenter. The presenter. 如果只有一个的话 ，presenter 很多个、嗯。The presenters are pretty good looking. 哦、oh, ，一个啦。Okay. The presenter is pretty good looking. Okay, It's handsome. Okay， 听起来还蛮不赖的。很棒。Sounds like another reason to look forward to the conference. Sounds like another reason to look forward to the conference. 对，因为他长得像布莱德比特哎。对，布莱德比特就是没有来的比特，布莱德比特。来，我们看一下今天的 live action。好有道理哦。嗯，布莱德比特。哎，悠悠。嗯。The live ABC conference is coming up in July. I can't wait. I know. I'm looking forward to the keynote speech this year. Me too, and、yeah. that's just the beginning. There will be a lot of great speeches at this year's conference.、Um, and I heard they are even hosting a field trip for the presenters. Speaking of the presenters. Some of them are pretty good looking. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Sounds like another reason to look forward to the conference. Yeah. Oh, handsome guys. <laughs>